Hello, welcome to FMOD in 2 Minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today we're talking about action sheets. Now I'm going to try and explain these as simply as possible. An action sheet, if you right click and add a new event, you'll see two options just like your timeline, whereby you can have a very simple sheet to add sound effects to. For instance, you just drag and drop a sound and quite simply it plays the sound. You can still add effects down here as you wish. You can still add various types of instruments. However, there's no timeline. It is asynchronous. The main use out of action sheets is that they are so direct and tidy. They do pretty much limited capabilities of a timeline sheet. For instance, if I had a simple sound like a UI here that only needed to play this sound and this sound alone, an action sheet would be much easier to implement and much quicker. Up here, we have two options. We have concurrent and we have consecutive. Concurrent means that both of these sounds will play at the same time. So any sounds that I layer underneath will play simultaneously or concurrently, which is handy. Or if I wanted to do the consecutive sound, I could have one sound play after the other. In this case, I have two multi-instruments containing half of a reload for a shotgun. As you can see, the first one plays, and once it's finished, the second one will play. Now, the argument for using an action sheet here is that each one of these parts of the reload has a multi-instrument full of variations of that part. If I were to do this conversely in a timeline sheet, it would look something like this. Two tracks, two multi-instruments, and it would play along the timeline. Pretty normal. However, you'll notice a few things. One of them is that I've added a bunch of extra steps because I've had to open a timeline sheet, add two audio tracks, and then position these along the timeline compared to dragging and dropping the sounds into this action sheet and we're ready to go. The other thing is that action sheets automatically make your events asynchronous. Like I said, there's no timeline, so it is asynchronous. By comparison, we would have to go into our timeline sheet down here and trigger the async button. Otherwise, what would happen is up here, you can see that one of my variations finishes later than the other one, which means we would have to wait for this dead air to finish playing along the timeline before it reaches the second part of the sound. Again, not that big a deal because we can go down here, click async, and then we're done. However, like I said, we can skip these steps by putting them in an action sheet that does this all for us. Again, there are many ways to do things in FMOD. Action sheets just offer a different way of doing it that perhaps saves us a little bit more time and helps our thinking when it comes to visually understanding what we've done inside of our events. There is no right or wrong way. You can definitely do it in the timeline. There's nothing wrong with that. This is just an alternative.